Hey guys, it's Jen from Illustrator How. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you three quick and easy ways to combine shapes in Adobe Illustrator. All right, so it's super easy to combine shapes in Adobe Illustrator and there are a couple of ways to do it. I'm going to show you the easiest ways to combine these two shapes together. So as you can see, I created a circle and then a rectangle. And then just remember that if you want to combine two shapes, there must be an overlapping parts of the two shapes. So I'm going to move the rectangle like uh, attaching with the circle. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the shift key, click on the rectangle, and I'm going to move it intersecting with the circle here. And now if you select both shape, you will see the pathfinder option in the under the properties panel. And then if you can just click the first option, unite and then you combine both shapes. Now you can change the color or just basically do anything you want with it. All right, I'm going to go back. And then another way to combine shapes in Adobe Illustrator is using the Shape Builder tool. Same thing, you have to select both objects and the both objects must be um, intersected. And then you'll go to the toolbar and select Shape Builder or use the keyboard shortcut Shift and M. And then click and drag through the shapes that you want to combine. As you can see, um, the areas that you want to combine will be kind of highlighted. And when you release the mouth, the shape will be combined. So yeah. And another way to combine shape is um, by grouping the object. Well, this is like temporarily combine the shape. If you want to maybe edit it later, um, you can use the, the group method as well. In this case, just um, simply use the selection tool. So I'm going to go back to the selection tool using the keyboard shortcut V, select both, and then right click and group. Or you can also use a keyboard shortcut command and G to group the object. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. All right, so let me quickly sum up the method that I just talked about. So I would say that method one is best for when you want to combine everything. So you can simply select all the objects and then hit the unite button on the Pathfinder panel. And then method two is best for when you want to combine like part of a shape. So you can use a shape builder tool to just draw through the area. And then yeah, you can combine the parts. And then method three, I would say that it's best for when you want to just uh, temporarily combine the shape so then you can move them around easier. So then you can later on ungroup the objects and then uh, edit them separately. So. so that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed the video and find it helpful, don't forget to give me a thumb up and then subscribe to my channel. 